And yo, say, feel the earth tremble. See the skies turn red. Eclipses shooting stars turn your head. Volcanoes erupting. Rage in the sea. Ain't the second coming of Christ, the first coming of me. They say if you dam up the Nile, it'll throw off the rotation of the earth. Well, messing with me is worse. Feel the rain. Button up your overcoat. Watch the Illadelph bad boy go quote for quote. Well, y'all want the best? Well, I'm right here. Y'all looking for competition? Ain't no one there. Y'all in the stands dissing, kicking dirt and missing. My heavenly flows put them seeds in hell's kitchen. Uh, and I'm so, I'm so hot, hot, y'all burning up. Hot, I step in. It's like the wedding between hope and I'm getting the hip hop Moses to where we heading, y'all. Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third. Y'all guys are The Third Family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing at the end of the video if you like what you see. Ho, 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 ho. I'm gonna start playing it too early and shit. If you're new here, you might not be aware, but if you are not new here, you definitely know that Will Smith was my favorite rapper back in the day because my parents, I grew up in an extremely strict household. I could not listen to rap music that, or I, I couldn't listen with their knowledge to rap music that had cuss words and about just basically everything that rap was. So Will Will Smith was the only rapper. He's the one that introduced me into hip hop. I wouldn't be in this reaction channel without Will Smith. And that whole rap at the cold open is Will Smith. It's I'm coming off of Willinium. So I was hyped as shit whenever Joyner dropped Will because I feel like I have that same connection to Will Smith that Joyner does. Obviously he has it as much higher stakes, but the passion for hip hop came from the same person, just like, just like Joyner had. So obviously I was hyped as shit when I saw that Will Smith was gonna get on the remix to Will by Joyner Lucas. So there's really not much to say. You know why I'm here, you know why you're here. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at the third earnest, just like the channel, links down in the description below. And we got Joyner Lucas and Will Smith Smith. Almost a million views, number one on trending right now. Let's get it. Hey. Ah, the fits though, the two J's, and then Will got that fire ass Bel Air Athletics jersey. I. Right. Yeah, I'm feeling like Will. I feel like a prince, I'm feeling myself. Hold on, I forgot how much of a banger this song is. We're gonna start all over. Well, yeah, I'm feeling like well. I feel like a prince, I'm feeling myself. I'm loaded with bills, cause I wasn't blessed with no Uncle Phil. Don't know how it feels. I wanted to flex, they told me to chill. I'm making a flip. My life is a flick, now load up the flip. Yeah. You feeling like me? Oh, oh, it's all, it's all will, it's all will. All right, let's go, let's go. I gotta rewind again. Damn, the fucking lyrics are fire from Joyner. I wanted to flex, they told me to chill. I'm making a flip. My life is a flick, now load up the flip. Yeah. You feeling like me? I feel like a prince that turned to a king. Uh. Found me a queen. Started a family and got me a team. Uh. On top of my dreams. Joiner, I know you inspired by me. Like I was inspired by Nelson Mandela. I give him a rose for every endeavor. A shout out to Julia <laughs> Irving. <laughs> You was inspired by me like I was inspired by Nelson Mandela, give him a rose and Julius Irving. God, I was wondering what the rose theme was for at the beginning, but now I know. He said, I feel like the prince that turned to a king, I got me a queen and a team. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air turned to a king because he's on top of the foot. He's literally one of the best entertainers of our time. Got him. Like I was inspired by Nelson Mandela, I give him a rose for every endeavor, a shout out to Julius Irving. One of the legends I worship, Muhammad Ali put to work and he was the champ, the greatest he earned it. I love that you think that I'm perfect, but I had plenty of mistakes and burdens. My grandmama thought I was worth it, she always guided me when I was searching. I wouldn't mm, be she always guided me when I was searching. I know you think I'm perfect, but I got, I got burdens. Y'all young bucks don't know that Will got the spit like this, like so underrated as a rapper because his, his image isn't like hard. His image is just fun and having a relaxed, good ass time on the mic, you know, and we're not cussing. So all those things in like 90s and early 2000s rap, like that brought him down in terms of the way people saw him because gangster rap and Tupac and Biggie and all that shit was popping back then. So Will's production, like it switched, like Will's production changed with the times as you would normally expect. He evolved with the times, evolved with the music as it evolved but his same energy and his same style, like it was, his style was from early 90s, late 80s, like rap. It was very just, just relaxed, just nonchalant, just not aggressive. It was just, it was just good music to listen to. And then on top of that, he became like a mega superstar actor. So now it's almost like people see him as an actor who's rapping as opposed to a rapper who's acting. 
And it's dope that Will's shouting at his idols in the same way that Joyner was shouting out Will on the same song. It's fire. I'm perfect, but I had plenty of mistakes and burdens. My grandmama thought I was worth it. She always guided me when I was searching. I wouldn't be me if it wasn't for her. I wouldn't be Willie. I couldn't be me if there wasn't no Eddie. I wouldn't be Will if I wasn't for Philly. Ain't nothing much that you really can tell me. Willie been Damn, it's dope, man. Like, I wouldn't be who I am if it wasn't for the places that I grew up and the people I idolized and the people that I worked with. It's fire that he's tearing down that like illusion of him like like Will Smith. He's Will Smith. Nah, he's Will Smith, but Will is only who he is because of the people around him and the idols that he had growing up and his grandmother telling him that he could be, he could really be the star that she knows he could be. And I'm assuming that's what the dove flying around is for because his grandma's passed, so we got the singular dove. I wouldn't be Willie, I couldn't be me if there wasn't no Eddie. I wouldn't be Will if I wasn't from Philly. Ain't nothing much that you really can tell me. Willie been cold since Benny and Jerry. Must have ah. forgot that I really get busy. They done forgot who invented get jiggy. Hey, hey I must have forgot who invented get jiggy. Y'all out here doing all these dances on TikTok. You got the shiggy and shit, but don't forget who started that whole thing. God. And the problem is that people don't realize that he started the whole thing. And people don't realize he won the first ever rap Grammy. And people don't realize that he didn't go to get the award because he protested the fact that the rap Grammy wasn't, wasn't televised. It was one of those like behind the scenes Grammys. He's like, nah, rap is here and I'm not gonna take the Grammy from, I'll get the Grammy, but I'll get it later because y'all motherfuckers are hating and y'all don't wanna put it on TV. You don't realize how iconic the dude is. And he said, Willie been cold since Benny and Jerry. <laughs> Like Ben and Jerry's ice cream cold. I wouldn't be Will if I wasn't from Philly. Ain't nothing much that you really can tell me. Willie been cold since Benny and Jerry. Must have forgot that I really get busy. They done forgot who invented get jiggy. Hey. Aye. Back before there was streaming sales. Way before all the iTunes and the fans had to get CD still. Aye. 60 Ooh. million records sold. I was on fire. I ain't even need a grill. Did it all <laughs> with no cuss words. I ain't had to curse just to keep it real. Me and Jazz. Hey, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like he's all he says that he says that once every album that I feel like. And he's just keeping it a buck with everybody he's like yo i i i respect that y'all got all the streams and all that but i did 60 million records before there was even streaming sales they actually had to go out drive to the store purchase the album and then go back and listen it wasn't just at their fingertips there was effort that was put in so my fans were were true fans because they actually went through the effort to listen to my shit and he said, I was on fire. I didn't even need a grill. The double entendre, like fire and like grill, like barbecue. But also I was on fire. Didn't even need a grill, like a teeth grill. I didn't have to be all flashy. I ain't had to curse just to keep it real. Me and Jazz in the late 80s. Writing rhymes, make tapes daily. Fresh prints make the babes crazy. Rest in peace to James Avery. Even when the streets... First things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. For real. You the only father that I ever knew. I get my bitch pregnant, I'ma be a better you. And the scene that they're showing right here, I'm almost on the verge of tears every single time I watch it. How come he don't want me, man? I'ma choke up right now. Rest in peace to James Avery. Even when the streets call me corny, I still ain't never let the hate break me. I just wanted the respect first. I still ain't never letting fame change me. New uh, me, but I'm old school. And you can call him corny all you want, but Big Will just did another 20 mil. Walk right past he. I'm the nice guy. Why y'all harassing me? New me, but I'm old school. Big Willie on the Pro Tools. Still fresh and I'm so smooth. I still got on my old shoes. I could jade a 1,000 kisses. Ain't nothing changed since so too. Martin Lawrence. Y'all yeah, don't even know about that fucking bar that he just spit right there. It's literally a song with Will and Jada on the fucking singing. And Will, the song is called A Thousand Kisses off the album Born to Rain. That bar went like this to everybody probably. A thousand kisses from you is never too much. I don't know about that. I give Jada 1,000 kisses, ain't nothing changed since so too. Hey. Martin Lawrence get a rose too. He a legend and a goat too. Go. Man, I love how you break the rules. Pushing limits and you make it cool. Join a Lucas, what made to lose? You a legend in the making too. What a beauty, my life's a movie. I swear I'm only on take two. All my mm. kids turned out great, and I know your son gonna be great too. Hey. Brick by brick, building a wall that imagine imagine like your idol is talking to you about the fact that you're a good dad and your son gonna be great too brick by brick building a wall that no one could break nah. flip by flip. glad i could help so you could be straight and life's nah. a trip but who could relate the legends are gone but it ain't too late to give them a rose and carry the grace because not every hero is wearing a cape i'm feeling like well i feel like a prince of 
You know why that line was fire right there? Not every hero was wearing a cape because this whole quarantine thing, the heroes are the people working the front lines. So not everybody's out there wearing a cape. They get a rose too. And life's a trip, but who can relate? The legends are gone, but it ain't too late to give them a rose and carry the grace because not every hero was wearing a cape. I'm feeling like Will. I feel like a prince. I'm feeling myself. I'm loaded with bills because I was not blessed with no Uncle Phil. Don't know how it feels. I wanted to flex. They told me to chill. I'm making a flip. My life is a flick. Mm. Yo, so y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even know how hard Big Willie can go. But yo, it's just so dope the way this whole entire situation played out. Joyner made the song Will, and I'm, I'm sure he didn't make it like expecting this to happen. He was just making it saying like, yo, this is one of my idols. Let me talk about my idol. And then because the way the internet works in 2020, this would have never happened back in like 96. This wouldn't even been possible. But because the way the internet works, the shit goes viral. Will Smith sees it, shouts him out on the gram. And the next thing you know, there's a remix. Like, yeah, I love that. That's just the way 2020 is supposed to be. For all of the darkness and all of the uncertainty and this just basically shadow over 2020 from January 1 to like May 17th or whatever day we're on, th this is like some light right here. This shows you, the, shows you the power that people have in general to even make this shit happen. But yo, that's the end of today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment down below. That helps the algorithm catch it and send, see the activity and send it out there to other people in the recommended section to keep y'all on YouTube longer, to keep showing y'all ads, and so that way y'all can buy shit. That's really all YouTube is for these days. But if you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing down below. I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel. We're almost at 90,000 subscribers. <laughs> Crazy. I didn't ever think I was going to get 90 subscribers. So here we are almost approaching a thousand times that. That just blows my mind. So for every subscriber, whether you're barely subscribing now or you were the very first one, I really appreciate it. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter at The Third Earnest. Just like the channel. Links in the description. Hit up the Discord. Also linked down in the description. And that does it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Like I always say at the end, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.